Hello everyone, it's Cleof again and welcome to Crafting Shed. This is the third tutorial of motif squares in my motif square challenge. It's my compilation of square motif tutorials for myself, but I put them up in YouTube to share with everyone. For this motif, it is started as circles in the first three rounds, then transition into square in the last two rounds. Now let's get started. I'm using size 4 medium weight yarn, size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors and blunt needle. Let's start with a knot and begin round 1. So round 1 is chain 2, 1, 2, and in the first chain, 12 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. So uh, pull the tail to tighten. And this is now round one. Round two, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, two double crochet puff stitch in the next stitch right here so yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert in the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops three loops in the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops and this is two dc puff stitch then repeat the pattern chain two two double crochet puff stitch again yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops Yarn over, insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, three loops in the hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Repeat, chain two, two double crochet puff stitch in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern around, I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 puff stitches. And then from here, chain 2. Then join with a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. So this is how to end round 2 and this is what round 2 looks like. Round three, slip stitch to uh, next chain to space. Chain three, one, two, three, two double crochet puff stitch in the same space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, three loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then chain three, and in the next chain to space, three double crochet puff stitch. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert for the third time, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, four loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. So we just did the three double crochet puff stitch. Then repeat the pattern, chain three. One, two, three, then three double crochet puff stitch in the next chain two space. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, four loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Repeat, chain three, three double crochet puff stitch in the next chain two space. One, two, and three. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. I just did the last three double crochet puff stitch. And then from here, chain three and join with a slip stitch in the third chain of beginning chain three. So this is how to end round three, and this is what round three looks like.
Round four, slip stitch to the next stitch. We want to start at the top of the next puff stitch right here. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next chain two space and go to this chain two space right here and do our corner stitch. So corner stitch is three double crochet puff stitch. Two, three. Then chain two, another three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. One, two, three, pull through all four loops. Then chain four, one, two, three, four, another three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. One, two, three, and then pull through all four loops. Chain two. And one more three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. One, two, three. Then pull through all four loops. And we just did our first corner. And it looks like this. Then chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next space. And double crochet in the next puff stitch. In the next stitch right here. Chain three. Skip the next space and then in the next space right here, repeat the pattern, uh, the corner stitch, which is three double crochet puff stitch. Chain two, three double crochet puff stitch again. So we're doing our second corner. Chain four, three double crochet puff stitch. One, two three chain two another three double crochet puff stitch in the same space three pull through all four loops and we just did our second corner corner it looks like this then continue chain three skip the space double crochet in the next puff stitch chain three skip the space and repeat the pattern, corner stitches again, which is three double crochet puff stitch. Chain two, three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. One, two, three, pull through all four loops. Chain four, three double crochet puff stitch again. One, two, three, pull through all four loops. Chain two, and one more three double crochet puff stitch in the same space to complete the corner. The third corner. And this is what it looks like. Continue with chain three, skip the next space, double crochet in the next puff stitch. Chain three, skip the next space, and do our last corner, which is three double crochet puff stitch. Chain two. Three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. One, two, three. Pull through all four loops. Chain two and three double crochet puff stitch in the same space. Two, three. Pull through all four loops. And we just did the last corner and this is what it looks like. Then continue with chain three, skip the last space, this one, then join with a slip stitch in the third chain of beginning chain five right here. So this is how to end round four and this is what round four looks like. Round five, a simple round of single crochets around. So chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. Three single crochets in the next chain three space. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next stitch, in the puff stitch. Two single crochets in the next chain two space. One, two. Single crochet in the next stitch. And then in the corner stitch, five single crochets in the chain four space. One, two, three, four, five. Then single crochet in the next puff stitch. 
two single crochets in the next chain two space one and two single crochet in the next puff stitch then three single crochets in the next chain three space single crochet in the next double crochet stitch three single crochets in the next chain three space single crochet in the next puff stitch two single crochets in the next chain two space single crochet in the next puff stitch then repeat the pattern five single crochets in the chain four space for the corner for the second corner so round five is just basically one round of single crochets around so continue this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round And I'm here now towards the end of the round, just did the three last single crochets in chain three space. Then join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet to end round five. This is the last round, so I'm gonna pull the yarn to get a tail. Thread the tail in the blunt needle and then weave the ends to the back like this in the last stitch. So hopefully it's invisible. Then right here then hide the tail in the stitches in the back and for the beginning tail I like to pull it tightly to close off the center then um, sew in one direction like this pull tightly and then one more in the opposite direction to secure the yarn then cut the tails, clean up the tails, and we are done. And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.